Hi guys and welcome to my channel Kind of Creativity. I'm kind of a bit squished today because I want you guys to be able to see some of my lap anyway, to see what I'm doing because today I'm starting my new series which is like try something new Tuesday. So um, today I'm going to kick this off with some glass painting and I have never done this before and I can't imagine it could be too hard because it's painting so surely it's just easy but I don't know and I thought I'd try it so that you guys can see if you like these kind of videos please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below and without further ado let's hop right into it so I've tilted the camera down just a little bit more so you can see a bit better but this is a glass um, painting kit that I bought off of the internet and yeah I'm gonna start off with this this says that I need to draw the outline with the outline pen first and then leave it to dry for like, uh, where is it? Um, let it dry for two hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this. The design I've chosen to do, oh, I can't actually get this thing out, is a bee design, hence my phone. I've got some like pictures of bees and things to try and make it look as realistic as possible. I really can't get this out. But yes, that is the plan. Okie dokie. Right. Let the fun begin. It comes with the extra nozzle, I'm guessing, so you can just pipe, not pipe, but, oh crap. So that you can squeeze it on directly. I'm really not made for this. This is like Georgia proof. Literally. I feel like I should have tried to. Aha! I think I'm going to need scissors. I don't think that's going to come out. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a really, really thin hole. Okay, so I'm choosing to do this on a decanter. I have washed, thoroughly washed my decanter first and also like gone over it with some vinegar to make sure that it's clean. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing, I think. I hope. We'll see how this goes. I don't know how. try and do a few of these all the way around and I shall get back to you guys. So I am now back, it's two hours later, all my bees have dried, I drew some extra ones on with that outliner stuff and so now I'm ready to paint. Not sure how well this is going to go, I don't even know if I need a paintbrush but I've got one just in case. Um, Oh, it says squeeze the bottle gently and fill the colouring in the design. If it forms, break them with a pin or needle. This could be interesting. Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh wow. Um, what colours do I need? I think I need the... Yellow, basically. I think it's just yellow and even be white as well, the wings. Yellow and white. Let's see how we go. Ooh. Might have a bit of orange as well for some bit of variation. Mix it a bit. I don't know. Let's just see how we go. Let's start with the yellow. Ooh, ooh, we're dripping. We're dripping already. Not good. Oh, I see what you mean about bubbles. Crikey. Don't have any. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It doesn't, like, stick in the lines at all. Kind of just goes wherever it really wants to. But that does look quite cute. And a little bit goes... A long way. It's looking very cute. And 
and it seems to be pretty relatively quick. I'm kind of glad I didn't um, leave the black bits to have to be coloured in with the inks because it runs really easily. It's going to be hard enough trying to get it to... Ooh. The white to work is what I'm trying to say. Ooh. But my bees are looking pretty cool so far. So far, so good. Ooh. I don't know one. Oh, oh hello, we're running. That is not ideal. Please don't run. I want you to stay yellow. Exactly the way you are. Right, cute. The yellow is done. It was really quick. Once you've done the outline, it's really, really quick to fill it in. I'm really liking how it's looking. Let's give this a bit of a, a, a shake. See if we can do the... Ooh, wow. The white just like, kind of proves how fast it comes out. Uh-oh. Making a mess. The tissue might actually be not a bad idea. Hold that thought. Gonna grab a tissue. <laughs> Back with tissue to save the day, hopefully. I don't know if the white's actually going to get any whiter as it dries, because if it's not, then there's not really much point in me faffing with it because it's not really making any difference just making a mess all over the glass bottle which as I said not ideal I don't know whether this is oh my god life so you gotta be decide whether I like the wings being white or not. I'll show you guys. Oh, 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 which bee is it? Too many bees, too many bees, too many bees. It's that one. You can't, oh, it's sort of picking up on camera the best of the wings being white. But that is what they look like at the moment. Oh, shite. Just stuck my finger in the other one. This is not made for me. painting malarkey but it is relatively easy it's just practice and technique letting me down I think I hope because you kind of got to keep swapping which way you're holding it because otherwise the white anyway is running oh that's a bubble and a half Pop. I don't know what I'm going to do once I've finished painting this and need to put it down because, um, yeah. Ooh, that was a lot. Can I make some from that one and stick it over here? Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Of course it doesn't. Okay. I don't know. I think they might look better without the white wings, but it's too late now. Half of them have white wings. Definitely not going to bother trying to make some of them unique with the orange because 
quickly discovering that with glass painting, the simpler it is, the better it looks. And that goes for colours of detail and just general outlines of things. Don't try and be clever. Especially not on your first attempt, but they are looking... Whoa, did I just catch it with my nail again? They are looking rather cute, if I do say so myself. I'm going to leave them to dry and see what they turn out like and then show you guys in a bit.